Hello and welcome into another video everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about my top 5 Sega RPG games of all time. The only rule on this list is that these games must have originally released on a Sega platform before being ported. As long as that rule is there, everything else is good. The order in this video is not ranked. These are my 5 favorite games. The only one that is ranked is number 1. Number 1 will be my favorite on the list, but everything else isn't ranked in order. It's just my 5 favorite Sega RPGs of all time. And any of these 5 games on this list are incredibly good games and some of the best RPG games out there. Let's go ahead and let's get started with number 5. Coming in at number 5 for our first game we have Fantasy Star 4 The End of the Millennium for the Sega Genesis. This was the final turn-based Fantasy Star game ever made, and it's an amazing final game for the main Fantasy Star series. This game has extremely fun gameplay with super fast battles, a great cast of characters, and an incredible soundtrack. This game also has some of the best graphics of any RPG game on the Sega Genesis, and this game has an incredible story that ties together all the Fantasy Star game stories into one story and wraps up the entire storyline of the four Fantasy Star games that were released. I can tell you that Fantasy Star 4 has it all. It has great gameplay, great graphics, great music, and a great story and great cast of characters. This is an RPG that even though I didn't play it at the time of release, I played it many years later, and it was still an absolutely amazing game. And I have continued to replay this game many times after finishing it the first time, and it is still an absolutely incredible must-play RPG game. Next up, at number 4, we have Shining Force 2 on the Sega Genesis. Shining Force 2 is an incredible game made by Camelot Software, who you may know as the developers of a game series called Golden Sun. Shining Force 2 is a strategy RPG type of game where you can move your Unix around a battlefield, kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem. This game is absolutely incredible and it's a ton of fun to play and the game has so many different characters you can get and the cool thing is that unlike other strategy RPG games like Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem, outside of battles you can explore towns and other areas in the game. There's so many different strategies in the game and like Fire Emblem, once you get your characters to a certain level you can promote that character and have them advance to a new character class. Shining Force 2 also has an incredible game soundtrack and the music in the game is unforgettable. This is another game that I played multiple times from start to finish on this list and every single playthrough I played of this game I have had a blast playing through this game. This is a must play game for people who enjoy RPGs like Fire Emblem or Final Fantasy Tactics. Shining Force 2 is without a doubt one of the best strategy RPG games ever created. At number 3 we have Skies of Arcadia which originally released on the Dreamcast. I remember playing this on the Dreamcast and being absolutely amazed by this game. I didn't know anything about Skies of Arcadia at the time other than it was an RPG game. Me being an RPG fan I had to of course play it because I'm a big fan of RPG games. And when I played Skies of Arcadia I was so incredibly impressed with how good this game was. It almost instantly became one of my favorite RPG games. The game has you playing as a group of pirates who sail on a ship across the skies of the world to fight an evil empire to save the world. The game has an incredibly massive world map with a lot to explore and a ton of battles to fight. The game has super fun battles with super cool characters and some of the best characters in RPG. This game not only has cool turn based fights, you fight on foot but you also fight ship battles in the sky with your ship against other ships. These battles you do in the sky with your ship have really cool unique battle mechanics that are a nice refreshing change of pace and also add a lot of variety to the game. Skies of Arcadia also like the other games I mentioned in this video has a very good soundtrack with great area themes and awesome battle themes. For RPG fans, Skies of Arcadia is an absolute must play game. Coming in at number 2 we have Lunar 2 Eternal Blue on the Sega CD. Lunar 2 is one of my favorite turn based games ever made. 
This game is legendary. This game has one of the best stories and cast of any characters in any RPG ever. Not only that, but this game has classic turn-based battles with a fun battle system and a cool customization system where you can level up characters' abilities. I played Lunar 2 when I was much younger as a kid, and even many years later, this is still absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. Even to this day, I still do full playthroughs of this game from beginning to end, and I have a ton of fun every playthrough I do of the game. Every aspect of Lunar 2 is top-notch, and this game is unbelievably good. The first Lunar was a great game, but with Lunar 2, they took it to a whole new level and made such an incredibly good game. A friend introduced me to Lunar 2 back in the day and he was telling me like, dude, you gotta play this game. This game is so good. And this was back around when it released and I played it and I knew as soon as I had begun playing that game, that it was an amazing game. And after trying out my friend's copy of the game, I went and purchased the game and it is still one of the best game purchases I have ever made to this day. Lunar 2 is a legendary game. For number one, we have Shining Force 3 on the Sega Saturn. Shining Force 3 is not just a good game, not just a great game, but this game is elite. This game, in my opinion, is the best strategy RPG game ever made. Fire Emblem, Shining Force 2, and Final Fantasy Tactics are all amazing games, but this has always been my favorite strategy RPG game. What makes this game so incredible is that this game consists of three games. Shining Force 3 has three scenarios you play through, each one being its own full-length game. The three different games are all connected in story and share characters and all take place in the same game world and build upon the previous games for an incredibly awesome finale in the third and final game of the series. This game takes all the good parts of Shining Force 2 and improves upon them even further. The fun tactical battles are back, the exploration returns better than ever, and there's so many locations to explore and so many battles to fight. Furthermore, your decisions you make in one game carry over to the next game. For example, you might recruit a character in Scenario 1 based off a decision you make. Then, in Scenario 2, you can get that character by carrying over your save queer data and recruit them in Scenario 2. This changes the story and the characters you battle with you and makes the decisions you make in the games have a long-lasting impact on the rest of the Shining Force 3 games. Composer Matoi Sakurabo does the Tales of game music and the music in the Dark Souls games is the composer of Shining Force 3's music and the music in the game is awesome. The battle themes are intense and the music in the game is so well done. Shining Force 3 is an absolute must play for anyone who likes RPG games. Overall, thank you to everyone who watched the video. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch over at twitch.tv backslash shockstorm. Over on my Twitch channel, I do full game playthroughs of single player games from the beginning of the game to the end credits and then review the games that I finish on stream. Make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I would greatly appreciate it. And as always, let me know your favorite Sega RPG games in the comments below. And I want to say thank you all so much and everyone have a good one. Thank you all for watching.